Hey guys, Lachlan here from Cowboy for Gamer today. I am joined here by Ben from Nolan TCG. How's it going? Um, and we have a bit of a interesting idea. So we are essentially doing a hundred dollar deck versus a unlimited budget deck, um, where one of us we're going to spin a wheel. One of us is going to get the hundred dollar budget, uh, and one of us is going to get the uh, put whatever card you want in, expensive, non expensive. It's up to you um this is gonna be interesting yeah this is yeah. based sort of off uh nim nim uh making the post about how uh Yu-Gi-Oh players should stop complaining about not having expensive cards but is then on simo's channel and loses every week in their progression series because he doesn't have any expensive cards um so we're gonna see sort of what happens um we're going to cut to a wheel spin right now and see who got what deck and we're back. Um, I do apologize for me being incredibly bright right now because I've just brought up the wheel spin and it's on a, a big white screen. So I'm going to look very much like a white person right now. Yes, you look incredibly white. It's, uh, it's a bit bright. So we won't be stressed you here for too long. So we're basically going to spin this wheel. Uh, it'll determine who has the $100 budget. So whichever name comes up here, they have a $100 budget to build their deck with. But let's give this a spin. Oh. Please let this... Uh, oh. Oh. Please let this uh Oh, oh it's gonna oh. be me. No 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 no, <laughs> no. Oh. It was like slowing down on Ben and I was like Yes oh. No the, the wheel knows how to how to add suspense. Oh well this is just like my regular Yu-Gi-Oh experience, so we'll uh... <laughs> This is just like me playing IRL, uh, except I can't borrow cards. Awesome. I'm going to play so many expensive cards. So it's going to be based on TCG player pricing. Uh, TCG player market price will be the value of your cardboard. Oh, and my no. cardboard will just be all max rarity, even though this is going to be on Dueling Book. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. But okay. I think we're going to do, what, 24 hours for deck building? Yeah. And then we'll be back here tomorrow with a bit of a match. Um, they may be the same video, or they may be separate depending on how long our kind of deck building journey takes, yeah. it will all be kind of determined off that. So, yeah, we will see you guys in our deck builds. I need to make a call. Hi, is this Domino's? Awesome. Can I make an order for a large pepperoni pizza, please? Dad, there's a situation. I need your help. When can you be here? Dad, thanks for coming. I need to be Ben, and I only have $100 to do it. Do you have any ideas? Dad, you're a genius! Yes! I'm ready. So, what to build? There is always the option of just going with Dynamist. Um, I could probably pick up the core on TCG Player for seven dollars. Probably, it shouldn't be impossible to build that. But I think it might be a bit more fun to go with something else. Maybe see what else I can put together. Um, all right, lads. So this is the list we've already got. 
Um, obviously, we'd have to get rid of the magician souls and, you know, everything that goes with the magician souls. But, like, realistically, this could do something. Um, don't worry about the side deck, even though it's not super difficult to, to change. The extra deck is, like, where it's going to struggle. You'd have to get rid of, like, access code and skull dread and I think Celine's still a little bit. Um, but I think I could probably make something work, but let me look through my list a bit more and see what I can get, come up with. This is another option. I could run Spiral. Hmm. Yeah, that would be an idea, wouldn't it? Hmm. Like, none of this stuff is expensive, right? Like, what's expensive here? Fossil Dig? I think Megalo Smash might be a little bit expensive. Then I'd have, like, room for, like, actual side deck cards. Like, I could get Nash in or something. Hmm. Let me look a bit more. This is calling to me, you know? It is actually, like, really calling to me. I'm not sure why. Hmm. Let me price this up real quick. Um, I've put together a main deck for forty dollars. <laughs> So, that means I have roughly $60 to go a bit nuts with uh, side deck, or should it be um, extra deck even, or even upgrades to the main deck. I could probably chuck in some extrav, I think. Is there a reason I'm not running extrav in this list? I'm not sure. But, main deck looking quite good, to be honest, because that's actually just a list I already had. That just happened to come to forty dollars, so uh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Um, so we'll see where we go from here, but I shall update you uh, every step of the way. All right. Okay, so I'm looking at Dimension Shifter. Three dollars twenty-one a pop. That's not too bad. Ten dollars. <sighs> we'll chuck it in the maybe pile. Cheapest Cosmic is one dollars fifty-nine. Let's see what we get for this. Five dollars twelve. It could be a necessity. It could be a necessity, to be honest. Honestly, with Ben, the idea might be to go for Ghost Ogre. He usually plays decks that like need their cards to stay on the field. So it could be a play to go for Ghost Ogre. Two dollars thirty-two. Well, this definitely wouldn't take us over budget, and it would be good. This Dimension Shifter. The Dimension Shift is a main deck card, though. Like, let's be real. I probably don't need Twin Twister and Cosmic for a Ben deck. Can I afford Nibiru? <laughs> nah, nah, I can't afford Nibiru. What about Imperm? Nah, even more expensive. I reckon we chuck Heatwave in. But that's also a main deck card, isn't it? So, this is the list. I believe this is a pretty formidable deck, to be honest. We've got, I'll run you through, do a quick little deck profile. So we've got three Dimensional Shifter, three Megalo Smasher X, three Fossil Dig, three Heat Wave. I've never played this before in Spiral, but desperate times. Uh, three Pacifus, uh, three Pot of Duality, one Terraforming, one Metaverse, three Candina, Canadia? Let's call this Candina. Uh, three Dynamiscus, three Phantasm Spiral Battle, and three uh, two Power, three Sea Stealth Attack, which really makes the deck run, three Judgment, um, I'm playing this over on Rival Tenue, and th three There Can Be Only One. And moving on to the side deck, we've got three Effect Veiler, two Ghost Ogre, three Lava Golem, because this doesn't come back to my side of the field, that's why I've picked it up as Sphere Mode, um, three Cosmic, three Dark Ruler, and literally the most expensive card in the deck, Harpy's Feather Duster. So to my right, you can see my main deck. Um, I've got the prices individually and then added together. Um, hopefully they're all correct. I don't know. I didn't like 
pay too much attention when I was plussing them, but we are well under the budget. $88.42, the main deck being $48.17, and the side deck being $40.25. I have gone with a no extra deck because uh, it just wastes money, um, and I'm not running extra, so there's no real point in me running an extra deck at all. Um, I think this deck can actually... This deck could definitely steal uh, a series against Ben, if I'm honest. Um, I think the side deck's pretty good. The main deck has a lot to be worried about. It has a lot of go. Um, I still think Phantasm Spiral needs more cards like Battle and Power, and they haven't really got it uh, to be the deck that they can be. But um, Dimension Shifter... Um, Having metaverse and terraforming, pot of duality, like it, it, it is a good deck and it's going to work, I think. So, for under hundred dollars on TCG Player, I've bought myself a formidable deck, and um, I believe the next thing you see will be me versing Ben. So, um, if you've enjoyed the deck building process, please leave a like, um, subscribe, check out our channel. We we stream, we do podcasts. Check out the podcast; it's really good. And um, if you want go into the uh, description there should be a link to our discord what deck would you choose if you only had a hundred dollars my cat really wants to get in the room but um yeah thanks for watching guys and i will catch you on the flip side